In this video we are going to uninstall Mozilla Firefox DXE installation with the CMD batch uninstall file. So there are many ways to uninstall a program. I prefer uh, in this case to use the registry because there we will find the uninstall uh, command the same as you have in add remove programs. So let's go into the registry and take the uninstallation there. So we have the registry editor here let's go as elevated we don't really need that so here we have to go to hk local machine because it's installed on the machine level then we go under software and here we really have to pay attention if this was a 32-bit software we would have to go under windows on windows 6432 node the wow 6432 node but we installed the 64-bit so we don't have to go under there and then it's Microsoft. And this is pretty difficult to remember. I will show a tip how to um, go there faster. Well, you have to do it once. You can paste in the path in uh, uh, registry also. So, wow, scroll far down. We want to go to Windows. Here under Windows, we should have something called, I should know this by heart, current version. And on the current version, we should have uninstall. So all that it's machine related 64 bit shows up here, uninstall. So to go here, we could have copied and pasted this uh, in here in the address bar and come here directly. What I love to use is favorites. So we'll save this as a favorite. And I think uninstall is a pretty bad name because if we want to have the one for 32 bit, it's also going to be called uninstall because you just take the key name here. So I'm going to call this machine x64 dash uninstall. So now it's a favorite. So if we go anywhere else, let's say we go display link here under the pits and then, oh, we want to go back to the uninstall. We have it as a favorite. And where are favorite stored? They are actually stored in the registry itself. So if you change computer, you can export the registry to keep it. So I go here by the favorite and we are back to the uninstall. And now if we know the name, I think actually Mozilla is uh, written down here. Yes, it's down here, but it's not always you know the name, especially not if it's an MSI and you just have this GUI. So usually what I do is that I put myself on the uninstall right click and find and then I put Firefox or Mozilla or something and search and now we found it here when we are in here I'm gonna maximize this one so we see it a bit better and we see all the name of the keys we want to look for the uninstallation string uninstall string sorry here it is so the uninstall string if we expand it's this one you just call a, full, a file called helper under the uninstall under Mozilla Firefox. This, however, will not be silent though. If you run this, and we can prove that, I'll just quickly open a CMD. If we paste this and run, it will, pro okay, yes. It will say, hey, do you want to uninstall and next, next? And we definitely don't want that. So we want to run it silent. To run it silent, and you could Google this or search it, you just add a capital a forward slash capital S. So this is going to be our uninstallation string that will be totally silent. So I'll copy this one. I hope I had it. And then let's start to create a new script that we will save in the same source as the installation script we did in the previous video. So I'll open Notepad++ and open a new tab control n and let's add some uh, comments which start with rem not the music group and let's call this one purpose and we say uninstall mozilla firefox take in account here that this uninstall string here doesn't uninstall only this version 90.0.2 it uninstall any version that it's installed 
So we don't have to specify that this is an uninstaller for this specific uh, version. If it was an MSI and we were calling the MSI, that would only uninstall that specific version. So in our REM here, we don't have to specify uninstall Mozilla Firefox. It is, however, a 64-bit uninstaller. So if you have installed the 32-bit, this command will not work. Uninstall. Then we put author and I put myself. Then I like to put date. And we do. why are we doing this? We're doing this for our future self or for others who look, who can follow along when it was done. Is it recent? Why it was done and how? So let's put date. And today it's the 10th August 2021. And then we can add what we're going to do. Uninstall Mozilla Firefox. And then let's paste our command here. And here we don't have to... Uh, do this as we did in a previous version, present till the DPO zero to call a file because we know it's always going to be here. Well, if it's not here, it's not going to work. So what we can do to not get an error is to look if exist and then copy this. So that means it first look, does this file exist? If it exists, run this, but it's not a must. And that's all we need. Not all uninstaller works while the software is started, but Firefox, it actually work. If it didn't work, we would have to have something here before that actually uh, kill the Mozilla Firefox process. So we're sure it's not started. Let's save this one and test run it. And for, I'll, I'll start Mozilla Firefox also. So we'll see in action that it started. So we have it started now. I'll minimize it, but it's here running. Let's save this one. I will do that with a control S. And let's go to our source package. So that's under C underscore Intune, our Mozilla Firefox folder under source. And by default, it won't the text file. I'm gonna scroll all the way up and say all types. And I'm gonna be lazy here. I'm gonna select this one. It's gonna be similar name and instead of install, call it uninstall. And since this works for any version, not only 90, I'm gonna remove the version number. So it's gonna be uninstall dash Mozilla Firefox, and then it will be double X um, for x64.cmd, and I save this. So here we have our uninstall script. It's only one line, which means we didn't actually have to do a CMD file. We could later paste this line directly into Intune, but I prefer to have it as a file. If you want to add more logging or other stuff, it's easier to have it in one script. So let's try to run this. So we see uh, Firefox is started here. I'll go to uh, pro add remove programs also, and let's uh, see that it's installed. Yes, we see it here. We even have the Mozilla maintenance service. So these two should go away after we run this script. Let's go to our source folder and run the CMD from there. And we of course need to run that as admin. So underscore Intune, our Mozilla Firefox, our source. Let's right click on uninstall and run as administrator. And we have Mozilla Firefox started here. So we're running. That went very quick. Hopefully that was a success. We can see that the icon is disappearing here. It still have started the uh, Firefox, but if we close it, we had it started while we were uninstalling. Let's see if it's still showing up here. Nope. Let's see if I can start Firefox. Nope, it's gone. The only thing that's gonna be left is from our previous install script. We added the Mozilla.cfg and uh, out to config.js or like, those files gonna be there because we added them. So if we go to see program files, Mozilla Firefox, nearly everything is gone. To be deleted, that will go away by itself. Mozilla CFG, our script added it, so the uninstaller will not touch it. And under default pref, we added out to config.js. So you could add in, I will not do that in this video, but you could add that here and do the path to the file and um, delete it. 
it's probably best practice but those two files they don't do anything they don't hurt anything they don't take any place they're only one kilobyte perfect and i see i could spell it correct here firefox so a recap we have created an uninstallation uh, command that will uninstall firefox regardless if it started or not which is good so we are ready we have done this part great job